Are you a brand new real estate agent trying to figure out how to compete with all the experienced real estate agents out there? You have a huge advantage over those agents and today I'm going to tell you exactly what it is. What's up brand new real estate agents out there? I'm Ricky Carruth, the first completely free real estate coach at ZeroToDiamond.com. I'm also a full-time agent and today I want to talk to you about the advantages that you have over all the experienced agents out there in the market that you feel like you can't compete with because they've sold so much property, they got so much experience, so much knowledge and you just feel like you just don't know anything and you don't know what to do, you don't know how to do it, and you definitely don't know how to compete with these people. So you have huge advantages over these people, and I'm gonna tell you what it is, okay? There's several things, all right? The first thing is, is that you have time. You have all the time in the world to do so many things that experienced agents do not have time to do. Okay, experienced agents are too busy selling, all right? They're too busy out there in the market doing their thing, making it happen, all right, you have time to actually sit down and study the market. When I was a brand new agent, I studied my MLS for about an hour a day. I knew the market like the back of my hand. I was in tune with the market completely because there's always new listings, new pendings, new closed sales, things going off the market, coming on the market, and I knew it all. I knew price per square foot, I had it all down. Now that I'm 17 years in the business, I'm selling over 100 properties a year, I don't have time to study the market like I want to like I used to and this makes it difficult for me to keep up with it as much as I used to okay I'm still in tune with the market because I'm selling so many properties and I I can gauge what's going on and I know enough to give my customers excellent service but I don't know as much as I used to and as a new agent if you will take advantage of this and you will really study the market and know it like the back of your hand, you can become known as an expert over the experienced agents. Okay, especially if you're taking the brand new market knowledge and taking it to the public first before anybody else. When a new listing comes on, if you're the first one to post it on Facebook and send it out as an ad or put it in an email or however the case may be, however you want to bring that information to the public, you're going to become known as an expert because you're telling the market the public, the general public, this market information first before any other agent. And that's going to make you look like an expert because the fact is you're becoming an expert. Okay, By knowing this information, you are becoming an expert. So take advantage of this. You have time on your hands to do all kinds of things. You have time to do handwritten notes. A lot of experienced agents don't have time to do that. There's a lot of different scenarios and examples I could tell you but just understand that you have way more time on your hands than the experienced agents do and you need to fill it up and take advantage of this. Another thing I want you to do is be super confident in the fact that you are a brand new agent. Okay, brand new agents feel like being a brand new agent is a handicap. All right, and when a buyer or seller asks you how long you've been in the business, they're not necessarily looking for the right amount of time, they're looking for how confident you're gonna answer that question. You need to own the fact that you're a new agent, you need to be proud of the fact that you're a new agent, and you need to showcase it. New agents come to me all the time and say, how do I compete with the experienced agent? I'm on a listing appointment, and I'm up against a guy that sold 50 properties in the last year, 100 properties in the last year. How am I supposed to compete with that? Look, here's how you compete with it, okay? When you're at that listing appointment, or you're talking to that buyer, whatever the case may be, and they're asking you how many properties you sold in the last year or ever, okay, you look them dead in the eye and you tell them you haven't sold a single property or one or two or whatever the case may be. You own what your truth is. How many of your properties you sold, whatever the truth is, be honest and own it. And when you tell them I've only sold two properties or I've sold zero properties, you look at them straight in the eye and you say, and that's why you want me as your agent because I'm going to spend eight hours a day on just your deal until that deal is done. And if you want to go to another agent who sold 50 or 100 properties in the last year and has 20 properties under contract and 40 listings and ask them where your deal is going to line up on their priority list, I guarantee you it's not going to be number one unless they're lying to you. And they definitely cannot tell you straight up looking at, looking at you in your eye and tell you that they're going to work eight hours a day on just your deal until that deal is done. So say, look, Mr. Seller, I've sold zero properties and that's why you want me because I'm going to spend every waking hour 
on just your deal? Where do you think your deal is going to line up on the other agent's priority list? Okay, if you want a worker, I'm your guy. If not, I understand, nice to meet you, good luck with everything, but I'm going to look for some people who want a worker because that's what you need to be. That's what you need to be, the hardest working agent out there. I've built my entire career on outworking every agent. And when, you, when you're a hard worker, people automatically like you. Well, not when you pretend you're a hard worker, but when you're actually putting the work in and people know that you're working eight, nine, 10 hours a day, five hours a day, even if you're working five hours a day, but you're producing as much as some people produce in 10 hours, right? It's all about effectiveness and being efficient. So look, at the end of the day, this video is all about owning the fact that you're a new agent, being super confident, um, being proud of who you are and using that to your advantage. Use all the extra time you have on your hands to go back door on those experienced agents. The experienced agents are never going to see you coming, right? They're caught up in their own business and their own, you know, whatever they have going on and they don't even notice you down there catching on them, right? You're right on their heels and you're just out working, out working, out working, trying to get there to the top. And that's how I was. Nobody saw me coming and I love being the underdog. So love being the underdog, love being the new agent that that is behind everybody because that's what keeps you motivated. When you're the underdog and everybody's got you counted out and nobody thinks you're gonna make it, that's what drives me, right? That's what really makes me go full-fledged and fully commit to prove everybody wrong. I don't know, I just like proving people wrong. So anyway, that's the video today. Hope you guys got a lot out of it. If you haven't clicked subscribe, please do so. Hit the bell. Let me know what in the world I can do for you. We'll talk to you soon.